Hello Twin Flame Soulmate Collective and welcome back Capricorn. Today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on the mutual energy between you and your Twin Flame or Soulmate. I'm also going to channel messages focusing on the highs of your relationship right now or connection and the low note of your connection right now as well as the advice. Now this is going to be an extended reading and that is going to be available for you down below in the description box and you can click on my Patreon link. That's going to take you over to my Patreon section where the extended portion of this reading uh, will be available for those of you who are interested. Okay, that's going to be tier number three, Oracle of Insight, Twin Flame Soulmate Connection Collective. Okay, so take a look at that. For those of you that are joining me here for the first time, well, welcome. I hope that you enjoy these intuitive messages. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. And I want to thank you, my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to continue to like, share and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, let's take a look here, Capricorn. What is the mutual energy right now happening in your connection or in your marriage or in your relationship right now with your twin flame soulmate and let's take a look mutual energy right now the answers you need are coming a lot of full moon gemini energy here this is all about communication okay this is about you know being very careful right now what you say and how you say it not only the delivery but also the way you kind of in a way see those words okay the perspective in which someone says something to you as well okay so i'm getting here that communication is vital right now okay very important piece of your connection here all right so the answers you need are coming there's there's kind of like being very careful about what you say and how you say it um and that's for both of you you Capricorn and your twin flame soul, soulmate, okay? So the way that you exchange words and the manner in which you exchange words, because words have consequences to them, okay? Or words may sting or words may uh, create some type of triggering effect here, okay? So just kind of keeping aware of that. What I'm also getting here is that there is this sense of, um, not just the words, but also listening to what information is coming in as well. Okay. So I'm getting here. Yep. Work through your fears. Yeah. Like I said, there may be triggers here that may be, um, kind of like very heightened right now at this moment in time, you have new moon in Scorpio. So making sure that the communication is a loving one, that the communication is coming from an open heart. Okay. So talking to each other from a sense of love but instead of speaking to each other or listening with your heart, okay? That's also coming through because even though I'm getting throat chakra here with this very big blue circle, throat chakra is the energy center of the body that has to do with the throat, okay? Communication, but it also has a lot to do with the ears. So not only what you say, but how you hear the messages that are being transmitted by the other person. Messages can be transmitted in many, in many different ways ways you can communicate in many different ways not just words you can communicate in actions you can communicate with just gestures okay so here this is this is not just coming across as only communication but modes of communication okay how you're texting each other how you're emailing each other how you're speaking to each other how you know uh you are kind of like engaging uh, with each other's energy, you know, are you like rolling your eyes when your partner is trying to tell you something about that, you know, something is bothering them? Are you, you know, um, you know, kind of like those like paraverbal gestures, right? Those like, uh, you know, just gestures that we may do kind of looking at that as well. Okay. And that's also, I mean, a lot of what we, a lot of what we communicate 
is not words, to be quite honest with you. It's the manner in which we approach something with our own gestures, okay, and our energy as well, okay? So this is what this is talking about here, kind of being very mindful of that. Work through your fears. This here, of course, with Scorpio energy here, this is coming across uh, like in you know, like in tarot here, kind of like that death card in tarot. Okay, um, you know, kind of like that scorpionic energy, the end of a cycle here, and it may be kind of like turning over a new leaf here. That may be uh, you know, a communication barrier here that may have been kind of in a way. Uh, stumbled upon here by both you Capricorn and your um, you know twin flame or your soulmate and you've kind of realized here that uh, you know that trigger or the way in which you're looking at something or taking something whether it's the words whether it's the gestures wherever whatever it is that kind of like needs to be reassessed and kind of like a new form of communication or a new mode of connecting with each other needs to be present here. And that's how that's coming through here. I'm also feeling here, especially with work through your fears, kind of talking or communicating uh, or making time right now at this moment in time to talk about what is, you know, what are the highs of the relationship, right? What, what are we, what was the highlight of your day and what were the areas of the day that need uh, to be spoken about and cleared out? It may be things outside of your connection, but there's this need here to connect with each other about what the highs and the lows of the days uh, of the day is, or of the month is, or of the week is, so that there is this sense of that sense of clearing out that energy in order to then focus on the love and the connection even more. It's like, it's, it's kind of like something that's going to help strengthen that energy right now at this moment in time. I'm very curious about what the rest of the reading is going to say, because a lot is coming out here and coming through with these two cards. You have left exactly what I just talked about, validation, confirmation, treading softly, being very careful of how... And what is communicated, being very careful here or having a sense of self-awareness and being very mindful here of correcting a behavior, a pattern, self-sabotaging thought or fear, okay? Fear-based type of responses that we may, you know, kind of in a way do or say because something was said or something was taken um, in a different perspective and it becomes a trigger. Treading softly here, you have a person that's walking on water. But if you look at the water, the water is very choppy. So there may be here at times where right now at this moment in time, there's this feeling of walking on eggshells. It's like, let me not say this because this may trigger or this may cause a situation, an argument or, you know, maybe about a specific thing. OK, so that's how that's coming across. But like being very careful about how you proceed, being very cautious and attentive to the words that are being spoken, the actions that are being taken, the words that are not being spoken and the actions that are not being taken. Okay, so it could go either way here. Um, kind of like in a way correcting uh, that type of behavior, especially if there is a lot of this energy of like shutting down emotionally or shutting down uh, kind of like you know, uh, oh my God, like the cold shoulder, right? Kind of like not talking to someone for a couple of days is talking about really, re you know, taking a look at that and reassessing and readdressing that um, because there may be more of a division that's created when there is this sense of um, cold shoulder or really withdrawing emotionally or uh, communication wise here with your twin flame or your soulmate. Guess what Capricorn? I have a whole lot more to talk about. It's all right here, but just look down below in the description box, click on that Patreon link, meet me there, tier number three, Oracle of Insight, so you can find out more about the highs, the lows, and the advice here for your Twin Flame Soulmate Connection. Until then, click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here, click up here for more messages. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.